This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kim. I'm back with another review and today I'm doing a bit of this because I received this for this little new guy that just got in my collection. And uh, it's a something I didn't even realize when I ordered it. Uh, there's two, you know, sheet, one on vinyl, one on foil, but it says two of three. And I'm like, what's the third one? Where's the third one? So I go online, I check on toy hacks. I'm like, what, what, what's the third sheet? You know, what it looks like size. And then I realize it's this. This is basically you, you know, put rumble there and that's it. it. It, it's a representation of him shaking the ground and that's amazing i mean i don't think it costs him too much because it's just a you know one of the, the them uh cardboard insert you know that they use for uh, shipping but this is really cool I, and honestly i did not expect that i didn't even realize that that was part of the, the set when i ordered it and i think that's a wonderful addition so i'm gonna have lots of fun applying these stickers before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store, where at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. One thing I think this is amazing. I think it looks great with the actual backdrop I have. I mean, it's not the same shade. Uh, I wish it would have been the same shade as this, just for the review. But on the shelf, when it's going to be just that, it's going to be, you know, just a fun thing. I actually have no room for it right now, so I might have to rearrange a couple things. But um, you know, standard uh, cardboard, uh, or I mean, not cardboard, but you know, thick paper. Uh, looks good uh, the decals you have one set of uh, chromi lights uh, with these MC 60 thing and metal position so that's gonna be for the tape mode and then for the everything else mode uh, these things I think this is gonna be top covers uh, for the pal drivers that's gonna be interesting uh, I don't know exactly what these are uh, but, uh, you know, it's toy hack, so it's going to be amazing. And then this guy, you know, up front, you have some nice details. You have some nice color with the painted yellow, the red, silver highlight. But most of everything is, you know, that uh, two-tone of violet and purple. And again, I'm colorblind. This could be blue and other blue. But to me, it's always been a little violet-y, uh, kind of purplish. But... Please let me know in the comment. Uh, you know, I know Rumble is blue, uh, but this this doesn't look blue to my colorblind light. So let's get him to the paint shop and uh, do some toy axing. Hey, where's Hound? Oh! Help! And now that we are back from the paint shop, uh, he looks really good. But let's see what's left. Uh, you have a couple of things that go on the. Um, well, the, the, the legs, uh, extra decals for that here. Uh, those uh, red decals, you have four extra here. You had two options uh, for this decal here. Uh, with uh, Without the Decepticon logo, this one came with, so I put that in. Uh, you have an extra disc, because there's a lot of extra because it's really small, so it's kind of easy to just, you know, rip them apart. But it uh, looks... Uh, really good afterwards so and then there's no leftover here so there you go boat pile driver have accentuation around here that goes around all the holes so make sure you start it at the right spot and you know, go around same thing here you get a uh, you don't have a decal in the back but you do have a silver highlight here you have those two things here and then you have those little red uh, enhancements right there and then all around the pile driver 
um, you know, something to simulate uh, dirt and maybe shock waves or whoa, vibration. Sorry about that. And then you have, I thought this was going to go on top here to cover the peg hole, but apparently not. This is uh, underneath. So there you go. So they're both the same. And in robot mode, uh, he looks really good. Let me just put some more lights here. There you go. You have uh, nothing for the eyes. I was happy about that. I don't like eyes decal. You have uh, this here uh, under the chest. You have the abdomen area. Uh, little enhancement. You have those two pin covers. And you do have extras uh, if you mess that up. You have silver enhancement right here on the foot. You have the little black decals. This will show more in um, cassette mode. You have a little decal that goes around the hand and you have some decals on the back but that's going to show more in cassette mode as well so there you go and now to take a look at rumble in cassette mode and now in cassette mode before the toy axing uh looks kind of plain i mean silver highlight to give it that uh old uh, cassette look so that's uh Kind of a nice touch and then you have the uh, you know the chest piece here that's supposed to represent these uh, turning knobs that we had inside the cassette but I don't see it always oh, mistransformed that uh, both pin should be on the same uh, side but uh, well let me fix it there you go uh, turn this around turn this there you go all fixed up so there you go that's rumble in cassette mode before In cassette mode he looks a little more enhanced um, there's not much for the front part except what's translating from the uh, robot mode uh, but on the back you have a silver decal with a blue line in between all the way here you have those two little dots in the back uh, this side simulates more the cassette uh, you know rotation pin or I don't know what's the proper term for that you do have here a clear decal with mc60 because that's a 60 minute tape and then here you have the metal uh metal position is that posi yeah Me micro cassette metal position uh and that's really that's on clear plastic so to line it up when you don't see the edge of the decal it was kind of tricky but uh it works you have a little decal on the back of the head here to you know cover for the it was the same color as the ball joint so now it's similar to the rest of the robot and then you have those two things here uh which uh, it's two decals one purple one silver one on top of each other and uh, it looks uh, it looks good uh, but i think i don't know it, it when i look at the, the toy hacks uh, website um I, I feel like i've misaligned them or something but this works uh looks uh, i don't know looks really good to me so there you go. So that's final look at Rumble in cassette mode. For my final thoughts, I love this set except one thing, uh, which I'll point out here. See here on the back of the hand, you have the decals in silver, and then you have that little decal over the wrist here. So my problem is that when you plug in the uh, pile driver, this area is going to underneath and maybe not this one because of the way it's shaped, but it kind of rubs the decal. So that sometimes if it's not a perfect fit or if it's too, um, too thick, I guess that it, it could rub off. Like I've seen it on other uh, decal set where, uh, it was too tight and you get some damage to the stickers I mean, it's not too bad because i'll definitely always display them with the pile drivers uh so yeah it's that's the only thing i probably wouldn't have uh, but i think that's asbro's they could have used a better begging system for this but i don't know so that's the only thing like i'll probably if i play too much with him uh the decals are going to get damaged but overall it's fantastic set i mean rumble he was great to start with 
and now he's even better. And I always have a hard time pegging him, like uh, placing him with the pile drivers. So there you go. Or maybe now uh, with my bigger background, the uh, you know it's kind of too big. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. There you go. So I hope the image quality is still there. But that's uh, my uh, rumble, and I could not be happier with the result of this decal set and this figure itself. It's amazing. And before I go, one thing I really want to show is how it looks with the cardboard insert. Looks amazing. I love this thing. I have to rearrange my collection to be able to fit all of this on my shelf because it, it is a pretty big decal for the space that I have, but it looks fantastic. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more in the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.